So we're on a uh, nice zone, 75 meters wide. And what you have is some bedrock exposed here. At least we're exposing it. We've done quite a few days of hand exposing. Um, we've exposed this a fair distance all the way down to where that guy is over there. We're doing a little bit more. It is... Uh, dark on us it's about 5 30 in the afternoon evening and uh we've run out of daylight so i thought i'd make a quick video here showing you some of the mineralization in this zone so you have uh, pyrite here with sphalerite there you can see the darker band um, a lot of this host rock here has mineralization in the form of stringers and uh, you can see there's some sphalerite. This rock right here would run about uh, probably 5% zinc and a couple percent lead. Uh, you'd have some silver in there as well and then maybe a bit of gold. We have done some analysis on this with the lab. We had one sample come back at about 10 grams per ton gold, which is considered high grade gold. We have some samples when we run them under the XRF, which are showing over 35% zinc and 20% lead. So we got lots of high grade samples here. Here's one right here. We'll show a few of the ones after. Over there, there's a quartz vein. And uh, a long time ago, in the 1970s, they did a uh, drill hole up there, intercepted a 2.13 meter quartz vein with 6% uh, zinc, 7% lead, and 200 grams per ton silver, and a couple grams per ton gold. So this area here is what we're exposing right now. You can see all the staining here. There's some nice mineralization in here that we're pulling out of the bank. This is all mineralized. We have found chunks of uh, a vein in this, in this bank that was about 50 centimeters wide of solid mineral. So that's kind of what we're looking for. Again, more of your typical host rock. You can see the odd stringer of Sphalerite and galena. Got lots of samples in here. I'll show you a few of the uh, solid mineral. Okay, so here's a few I just picked up. This right here is solid mineral. You have galena, sphalerite. So there's some copper values in this. There's some cadmium, a little bit of arsenic. We have had some samples on some of the galena when we XRF'd and uh, it showed about 3,000 parts per million or 3,000 grams per ton silver. So we know we got some really good silver. That's confirmed with uh, some of the assays at over 500 grams per ton. So I just hammered one of those pieces in half. That's Svalerite right there. So some pretty nice samples. It'll be nice when we actually find this giant vein here. I think there's multiple veins in this area. And there is more samples here. There's some nice Svalerite. Some more sphalerite. There's hundreds and hundreds of samples all over this area. Look, there's another one right there. So these are the ones that uh, show the highest gold. But it's pretty consistent throughout most of the, the solid mineral. Uh, between 5 and 
10 grams per ton. There's a little stringer of sphalerite on the top. More sphalerite with some pyrite. More sphalerite. So, I know it's a short video, but hope you guys enjoyed. We'll be back soon.